And hello, hello everyone. I've made a short little video for users who may be facing difficulties with a Plex application and a TrueNAS scale system. Uh, this is mainly for users having issues with Plex being unable to see their files and folders within the dataset mounted to it. I've discovered that this is mainly a permissions issue due to Plex requiring a specific user and group ID in order to access your data. Uh, to show this, I've created a Plex data set where the Plex application will store its configuration data. If you look in the bottom right corner, you can just I just want you to verify with me that the permissions for both user and group is set to root. Now if I were to install the application like so, let me go do it real quick. Uh, Plex actually has it for some reason hard coded the what's it called? Uh, user ID and group ID to 1000. Okay, this is a me media data. Sorry about this. Let me go this real quick. And this is where I want the Plex data to store. Yes, so Plex had it, has it hard coded into it the user ID and group ID to of 1000. I'm not too sure why it does that, but it is. I can show you that briefly once this is finished installing. Actually, can we see? Nope, not yet. So once this is finished, the application is finished installing, which shouldn't take too long. I can show you what uh, I guess I can. I guess you can say proof. Uh, what's going on? Uh, this took me quite a few hours to figure out. The other videos online didn't ex exact show this, so here I am. Hopefully, it can help this video can help you guys out. So if I go to the data sets Plex. So in the bottom right, you can see the permissions have changed to user and group 1000. The thing is, I don't have anybody set to 1000. I, and if you're if you freshly installed uh, TrueNAS scale, you wouldn't either. Plex Auto did that, and you can verify this. It may be your installation of Plex is different, but you can check what ID it is by selecting the Plex application. The three dots up top. Select shell just choose and in the shell prompt just type in id plex we can see a plex in the docker container uses the id of 1000 and group id of 1000 so this is an easy fix all we need to do is create the both the user and group id inside the true nas system so if we navigate to credentials and groups oh one thing first off you need to create the group First, if you attempt to do the local ID, uh, local user, and select the, and make them, and set the ID to 1000, right? If you set it to create new primary group, if Plex with the same name, the group ID will be a different number. I've already tried that. So again, well, create the group first. Set the group ID to 1000. You can name that Plex. Keep everything default. And save. Now for local user, Plex, you can disable password since it's not going to be logging in. It's just a system account we're essentially creating. Set the UID to 1000. Disable new create primary group because we already made one. Assign that to Plex. Change the permissions to group because you want the Plex app to be able to write it. And one thing for sure, Maybe disables the Samba authentication. This shouldn't be a problem with it since we disabled the password, but just for safety's sake. Now, if we go to data sets, Plex, we can see the permissions have changed to uh, both Plex. It's, the system recognizes the 1000 ID. Now, this is a configure the data set is for the configuration file. We also need to change the data sets where our movies is stored. So I am have all my movies and music and such under the primary data set of media collection. You can have yours under Plex. This is how I did it previously. It's not a big deal. But you want to select the top data set, select permissions, and we want to add the Plex user. So user, oh, that's correct, Plex. We scroll down, permissions to full control. And we want this to re apply its permissions uh, recursively, so all the folders and data sets underneath it. So save access control list right there. 
now if we go back edit full control okay that's good well lost my thought let's check movies just in case okay looking good so now everything is set we go back to there and we'll stop it and restart the Plex application so it re refreshes the user permissions so hopefully everything goes on well now we can start it okay hopefully this works well <laughs> everything goes all right right here come on here we go Oh, uh, this is a new installation. I forgot. I have to claim it or whatever. I think. Ah, select the user. Ah, that's it. I got to name the server. So here it goes. Add library. I want to do movies. Browse folder. Bingo, all the movies have are seen. Everything worked out correctly. Add library shows. Ooh, there we go. And that is it. I uh, hopefully this has helped everybody anybody else out with the same issues. It took me a good part of the morning to figure this out. So again, thank you very much and hopefully you guys have a good day. Take care.